<laughs> Hello, my name is Robert Hebert. I'm a transplant hepatologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I'm also a physician scientist in the area of liver regenerative medicine. Uh, I'm here today with my friend and colleague Jorge Racala, who is a, a hepatologist at Mayo Clinic, Arizona, and a leader in the field of liver regenerative medicine. Uh, we're here today to talk about a new article that we've written that is to be published soon in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Uh, the title of the article is Cellular Therapy for Liver Disease, and that will be published as part of a series of articles that uh, comprise the Symposium on Regenerative Medicine. Uh, in its in inception, this was a review article, but over time I think it's really become uh, quite a bit more than that, and really we uh, envision it now as more of a roadmap. So it will tell us um, where the basic science in liver regenerative medicine has progressed to, uh, what clinical applications have been tested thus far, uh, and hopefully provide a vision for the future as to what, uh, what the opportunities and what the challenges will be. So uh, the liver is a remarkable organ. It's, it's really the most naturally regenerative organ in the body. Uh, a human being can tolerate 70% resection of the liver, uh, and some animals can tolerate up to 90% resection of the liver, and it will grow back and regenerate on its own to precisely the correct volume and then stop regenerating. Uh, and so we've taken advantage of this in medicine uh, with liver resections, with living donor liver transplantation, uh, and it's also a platform for us to learn about regenerative medicine in general and apply that, those concepts to other organs. Um, in the setting of chronic liver disease, this very precise program becomes subverted. Uh, and instead of efficient regeneration, you get a process of chronic wound healing that is inefficient and drives fibrosis and chronic disease progression. Uh, so there's really a need to uh, develop new regenerative medicine therapies to treat chronic liver disease. Uh, in the basic science realm, a number uh, of really astonishing advances have been made. Uh, there are a number of cell types that have been tested, uh, which Dr. Rakala will talk about in terms of cell transplantation into the liver. Uh, perhaps the most astonishing advance has been that of induced pluripotent stem cells. Um, and as you can see in figure one, uh, the vision would be to start with a patient or an animal model uh, of liver disease and generate skin fibroblasts uh, via a skin biopsy. Those cells can then be reprogrammed using the Yamanaka pluripotency factors toward induced pluripotent stem cells, uh, which are cells that uh, act like embryonic stem cells and can differentiate into multiple different tissue types. And if you expose those to a process uh, uh, of differentiation by exposing them to key uh, morphogens, you can drive differentiation toward hepatocyte-like cells. And uh, those cells then can be used uh, as an individualized disease model uh, for the patient's disease. They could be tested uh, in vitro to, to look at new therapies in terms of efficacy and toxicity. And perhaps uh, most exciting uh, is that the cells could be genetically reprogrammed to repair any underlying defects and then transplanted without immunosuppression uh, back to the liver. Uh, this is still experimental, uh, but a number of uh, other liver cell types have been tested uh, in terms of cell therapy, uh, and Dr. Rakala will tell us a little bit more about what has been done thus far. Yes, I, I think uh, uh, with the introduction given by Dr. Hebert, uh, we can uh, state that the the option that we have right now in clinical practice is liver transplantation, which is replacing a failed liver and provide a new liver uh, to a patient with end stage acute or chronic liver disease. The, we have been victims of our own success because uh, as we have got outstanding results with the liver transplantation with survival at five years over 70 percent, the the number of patients waiting for liver transplantation has outgrown the availability of uh, organs that are available through donation. Therefore, the applicability of liver transplantation has been 
limited. And in some places, up to 20% of patients waiting for liver transplantation may uh, die waiting for the procedure without getting it. So the, the interest that we have, we have had with this article, was to see where we are at in terms of other options, in terms of availability, ability to repair or regenerate a liver. So uh, the, the concept has been, uh, is beginning to develop about using cell-based therapies. So one of the first attempts have been used to use the primary hepatocytes that are harvested from livers that are not being are not going to be used in a liver transplantation uh, or photopic liver transplantation. And there have been uh, several review articles and, and uh, we cited them in, in our publication. And there have been uh, over 90 patients that have been treated in different places around the world with some beneficial effect. The problem is that as we used, again, uh, an allogenic uh, organ, the patient has to continue to use the immunosuppression. And then the second unknown is for how long these cells would be functional. And the third unknown is how it's going to be, what is the interaction between these uh, transplanted primary hepatocytes with the native hepatocytes. The, the next approach has been to use the circulating stem cells that uh, we have in our body. Those cells have been used Cell therapy have been used in the setting of bone marrow transplantation and other form of therapies, and now has been used the same approach in patients with end-stage liver disease. And all that has been done in uncontrolled trials as well as contro limited controlled trials. And we have summarized that in our tables, one, two, three, and four in our publication. So the, the initial trial was with the so-called mesenchymal stem cells. And, and that uh, was, we summarized there the total of uh, six trials. Uh, two of them were initially uncontrolled trials showing beneficial effect, and the other four are randomized controlled trials. Three of them showed beneficial effect, and the most recent trial uh, did not show any, uh, differences between the, the group of patients that received mesenchymal stem cells versus the one that received placebo. Another approach has been to use autologous bone marrow derived stem cells, and, and there there has been a total of 10 trials. Six of them so-called unsorted bone marrow derived monoliper cells, three uncontrolled and three controls. In the control trials, two of them showed beneficial effect. One trial did not show beneficial effect. In the other four were uncontrolled trials using sorted hematopoietic stem cells, specifically CD34 positive, and these uncontrolled trials showed beneficial effects in those patients receiving this treatment modality. More recently, another approach has been to stimulate the production of these allowed stem cells uh, using uh, growth factors like GCSF, glucoside, I'm uh, sorry, the neurocyte uh, colony stimulating factor. A more recent publication uh, coming from India, uh, they treated a total of 47 patients uh, with a placebo control group. And they showed improvement on the MEL score, which is a, an, an, a score that indicates how advanced the liver disease is, and also a better patient survival. Uh, again, as we look to uh, analyze all these different approaches with the adult stem cells and, uh, and also growth factors, what came very evident to us is that uh, there are uh, there is many approaches in terms of what type of cells to use, the concentration of cells, how to administer the cells. Uh, therefore, the comparison one trial to the other is very difficult. So. We, we think, and that, that what Dr. Huber has mentioned about uh, uh, what is for us in the future and showing uh, uh, what we, how we can approach these uh, this therapies uh, in the near future, one, one obvious approach is to standardize these cell preparations, the number of cells, uh, and, and provide to patients and be able to compare uh, with a control
control group receiving a placebo control group if there is a, what is the uh, efficacious uh, the efficacy of this approach in the treatment of patients with end stage liver disease now in figure two we have summarized what is coming for the future so an exciting possibility which has been outlined by dr hebert is that from a skin fibroblast from the patient we can generate induced pluripotent stem cells and then with the various transcription factors we can reprogram these cells and produce hepatocyte-like cells. And, and then that opens the possibility to use the primary hepatocytes, but now derived from the patient, him or herself, and be administered to a patient with end-stage liver disease. And that would be a very exciting as a possibility, because this patient probably would not need to use the immunosuppression. Therefore, that is clearly a, a pathway that is opening for the future for patients with end stage liver disease. So, thank you. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you read the article as well, and we look forward to your feedback uh, or questions about the article. It should provide you with some sense of where the science has progressed to, uh, what clinical applications have been tested, and potentially what the future holds as well. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.